Well, here we are again. Perfect day. Absolutely fucking beautiful. And uh, again, today I'm going to be talking to you about one very simple way that you can learn to begin being present. One thing that will help you on your journey to presence, on your journey to being more present in the moment, and just enjoying life in general. Today's topic, if you will, point of conversation will be very simple. Like yesterday's, you can check it out here. Today's is going to be so ultra easy. And it's basically going to be just to allow your past mind to be your guru. That's right. You see, a lot of people, when they start their journey to being present, they get very frustrated by past thoughts. They go, oh, I shouldn't be having these thoughts. It's driving me crazy. And I'm like, no, you're not in a war with your mind. Your mind is this beautiful tool. It's just been programmed to think on this one dimensional line. It's been programmed to think in this one dimensional way in duality. And as a result of that, what we need to begin to do is train it or program it to begin to expand its consciousness to begin to think beyond that one dimension. One of the ways that we're going to do that is by taking every time the mind either goes into your past, in other words, and I'm not talking about memory, I'm not talking about you going, oh, that's awesome, that's, that was fun, I remember that, that was really cool. I'm talking about when your mind starts to uh, project into fear or your mind starts to look back and it's some sort of negative thing. Like, I wonder what happened. I wonder what my boyfriend Bob did with Jenny the other night. Or I wonder what's going on with my, with my children. I wonder if they're okay. All that stuff is past mind, right? And so we're not going to allow the past mind to be our enemy. Instead, let's make it our guru. I did a video that you can check out right here about um, don't kill your guru. And I think that's really important. That you're never, we're never at war. This is a playground that we're existing on, that we're living in. You are not at war with anything. And so when that past mind brings something up and it causes fear, it causes worry, it causes anxiety, it causes just that chronic overthinking, immediately slow down and stop and go, thank you. Thank you, past mind, for being my guru and reminding me in this moment to be present reminding me or pointing me in this moment to the present. So every time that mind goes off, allow it to be a trigger, if you will, for you to enter into the present. If the mind goes backwards and the mind goes forwards, and when I say forwards, it's okay for you to look ahead as long as you're present in looking ahead. In other words, if you're looking ahead to something and you're really excited about that thing, you're not, and I can't wait, oh my God, and you're anxious about that thing, you're, you're probably at present in your moment. Remain present in your moment and create the life of your dreams. That's where this present moment is where the life of your dreams is created. And so remain in your moment and create. But whenever that past mind comes up, accept it, roll with it. Be thankful that it pointed you back to this present moment. And then practice some of the techniques from earlier, touching the moment, so on and so forth. And some of the techniques that will be coming later in this, in this week will aid you and help you and give you some really practical things that you can do to be present in the here and the now. I love you so much. You are so fucking beautiful. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.